Christina and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be planning the February reading journal spreads. I'm really excited. Um, my reading hasn't been the best, but it's okay. I do still plan on reading 100 books this year and so far I've only read 9. Those consists of 8 graphic novels and 1 <laughs> physical book. I did read, um, I did start and finish A House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron Craig and I gave it four stars out of five. I thought it was really really good. It gave me a bunch of Little Mermaid and um, the Twelve Dancing Princesses vibes. So I really really enjoyed it and it had quite a twist at the end. It I didn't expect it to be a thriller but it was. It was really good and I highly recommend picking it up if you want a quick read. So for this month, I decided to go with a Winx theme. I love Winx. They were like, this show is like one of my favorites growing up. And well, right now it's a bit cringy to watch, but <laughs> but I decided to go with the Winx. And I love the way it turned out. Um, I'm not very good with scripture, like um, my script fonts. So I decided to just kind of trace the word February from a website that can do fonts for you and then just color it in with my black pens. The pens that I use in this video will be linked down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. So after I colored it in, I was able to cut it out and use my adhesive tape to tape it into my journal. I don't know what it is, but I have so much satisfaction cutting things out. Like it's just so much fun <laughs> cutting out pictures it's just so soothing for some reason I think I'm just a, an odd person I don't know I haven't seen the new updated Winx animated show I do know that the art style is a little bit different and I did watch the Winx live-action Netflix TV show and surprisingly it was pretty good but I tried my hardest not to compare it to the original animated show and if you do that, then I think you'd enjoy it. But if you compare it to the anime TV show, I don't think you'd be a fan of the live action. Because it is its own thing. It's very different. But I did really enjoy it. It took me some convincing. But I did end up watching it, uh, I think, a couple years ago. When it first came out. And then I used this starry washi tape to for the borders of my notebook. I wanted a pinkish one, but since I didn't have a pinkish, starry, thick washi tape, I decided just to use this one. I really do like the way it turned out. It's really simple, really quick and easy. Since I don't really use my reading journal for a lot of tracking because Goodreads kind of does that for me. So in here I kind of have like some basic tracking stuff. And then I use some more like thinner moon starry washi tape for the edges of the photo. I think it's cute. I really do like the way it turned out. I was going to draw them out, but I'm on such a time crunch that I, just, I didn't have time and construction started during the filming of this video. So I decided to just not. And here on my phone, I'm just looking up quotes from the TV show to put in my journal. I really liked adding quotes to the empty sections of my spreads. It gives it a bit more, I guess, personality. <laughs> it just fills up the spreads better and I really like doing it. And some of the quotes are really nice. Like this one says, remember who you are, you are fairies. And fairies don't fear witches. the next page I will be setting up my TBR list. I didn't really write down the books for my TBR list because I didn't really finish all the books that I read in January. So I'm kind of waiting until January is over to fill out my February TBR section so I can move over the books I didn't read in January onto this page 
and so far while I'm recording this it's the Sarah J Mass books I am so behind my reading goals with Sarah J Mass but it's okay I will be picking up her book right after my current read so don't worry I continued to use my black pens and my midliners and also added a few more photos of the wings. So on this spread, I wanted to track the days that I read during the month. I want to see if I'm more of an active reader during the week or the weekends. So that's why I include these spreads now. And honestly, the spread is so annoying because I try to use my stamps to um, represent the days, like the number of the days. And I always mess up. Like I always make a mistake. I miscount or something. And it's like, how, why? <laughs> why do I keep making the same mistake? over and over again it's really annoying so you guys can go ahead laugh at me in the comments um, hopefully for the month of March I don't make an error and for some reason I don't know what it is that I do but the stamps just look very messy like do I press too hard like I need to practice my stamps <laughs> so I have a couple of books um, that are not for sale type of books, they're advanced reader copies on my bookshelves and I really did not enjoy them and I can't sell them, I can't really do anything with them except donate them to the library but I kind of wanted some scrap paper, like bookish pages like you see in the, my spreads so I decided to use these two books and rip them up and use the pages as scraps I know a lot of readers will cringe at this like oh my god Christina you just ripped up a book but I know but it's okay it's advanced readers copy it's not even like the actual book and yeah it hurt me too to rip up the pages but I like the way the spreads turned out so I think I'll continue ripping up the pages of those two books it's only the two books and it will last me a very long time since the books are about 300 pages long I just really did not like these books. I thought they were awful, so I don't feel as bad. And I'm not going to share the titles of the books in case there's people out there who really enjoy them and then they hate on me for ripping up the books. So over here in this section is where I mess up like crazy with the stamps. And it just doesn't look pretty. It looks so messy and I was really disappointed. I honestly wanted to just start this page over. But I just ran out of time and over time as the page sat there I just kind of just didn't care because I'm trying not to make things perfect because nothing is ever perfect nobody's perfect no item is perfect everything has a flaw and that's what makes it beautiful so I I know a little corny there but so I decided to just let it go let it stay the way it is I did try to fix it up with white out a little bit but I don't know maybe for March I'll try better um, make it a bit cleaner or just try a different method of numbering things but we shall see I think when I start, started watching the Wings Club Bloom was my favorite and I just found Stella annoying <laughs> but I think um, towards the end of watching the show um, I think her name was Fauna I think it was the Earth Fairy. I think she's my favorite. I just love her uh, personality. I love how calm she is and the fact that she can like help plants and trees and nature is just so beautiful. So on this spread I did include extra photos of Stella and a few other members of the Winx Club and I included the library card where I will be writing out my favorite book of that month and why it was my favorite. I'm really excited to fill out that section. I still haven't filled it out for January, but it's okay. I'm really excited though to fill it out. And I might post a picture of me filling it out on my Instagram so you guys can go ahead and check it out. It is linked down below along with the tools that I use to make this spread. Uh, it just looks so cute. I didn't know where to put her face and it's like it's okay where I put it but I kind of wish I had moved it down a little bit more but it's okay
And here I am looking for more quotes, because quotes are amazing. I like this quote a lot. She needed a hero, so that's what she became. And I love this quote, because you can be your own hero. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little February reading journal spread. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos such as this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next week with another video. Bye!